wants to have our hand in the storehouse of his blessings. However, what the children of Israel, uh, the children of the Israelites uh, didn't know, they knew about God because the, the Pharaohs had gods. All these different tribes, they worshiped. Actually, when they had a war, the war really wasn't about the people, it was about their gods. Because each person would, uh, 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 the enemy would go to their God and pray and ask for victory. Okay, with that being said, they knew that with God, we did it with God, you had to be open. That's what we did. They didn't know uh, uh, all of, of what attacked, but they knew. If you were going to serve the God, that God would want, first of all, obedience from you. They knew that. But down in, in, in a little bit further down in, in chapter 6 and verse 4, I won't actually go there, but listen to what he said. Hear, O Israel, the Lord God is what? Is one. He, he, right here, he, let me put you on, on top of this. This is 6, chapter 6, verse 4 through 5. Let me put you on top of that. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These words which I command you today shall be where? In your heart. In your heart. The reason why I say that the money that we have it all belongs to God because the Bible tells me that the earth and they that dwell therein belongs to God. There are all things. It was nothing created that he didn't create. John lets us know that, that, that the word became flesh and, and, and how he expected us to do our best to be more and more like him. But more than anything, God wants our heart. That's the first thing I want to put up on my heart. Money is good, it's fine, it's just good, but God wants our hearts. You know why? Because if, let's put a, let's just use a minute, let's use this for an example, a married couple. Yeah, I do this for you, yeah, and I take care of the bills, I do, but I don't love you. Doesn't sound like a very good marriage. You wouldn't want anything like that. That somebody would do what you say, but they didn't love you. Meaning it didn't come from the heart. And whether we believe it or not, money is a heart issue. Because what we spend our money on shows us where our heart lies. I can tell what you like by what you spend your money on. Jeremy uh, 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 
He blesses us. Notice what Jeremy said. He said, when he got busy for God, what happened? God got busy for him. I'm a witness to what he said because I tried. And you can tell how God is so cold. But I was doing what he did. I ain't no kid at all. God came to the church and got me. So we wicked God. Yeah. The money will change you. Because yeah. he said that we get confused. We get confused. We, <laughs> we buy cars and we buy things because we want to impress the people.
but he wants to bring his living expenses up here. He said, I got a spoon in the fall in over here, and I got a spoon in the fall over there. That's all. He was more concerned with the needs of the people which is closest to God's heart. So what did God do? See, you can look at his giving, thank you, Jerry. You can look at your giving, and people can tell who you are and what you love. Leading us to say, here come priorities. Not even more honor. You can't be making the money that you make. You must have the money so you're doing something somewhere. You know how people are. They're cute to preach you just say no. You got so good, you got so much stuff. It can't be because you love God and you've been blessing him and blessing his people. This for the people with the door old school. You can't beat God <laughs> no matter what we always try. Don't you think so? Because this, listen, God don't need our money. Let me ask you. Do, do, do the law men care whether you love the speed limit or not? He don't care what it is like that, just do it. That's exactly how God feels. He don't worry about what you how you feel about it. Just do what he said to do. And I promise you, you won't ever need two hours for nobody. Now God has blessed me to where I give more than I receive. And I have a testimony to Jeremy that if you give God, God don't need our money on me here. Let's be honest. See, some of this is uncomfortable because we like bad things and we like nice cars and we like to drive this and all oh, that's fine. All oh, that's good. I do too. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be my money like God don't love me. You know, I, I, I won't, you know. And it's nothing wrong with it until we let it get in the way of doing what God wants us to do. So what I really learned about stewardship is that it's hard now. Yeah. If you love God, you would not withhold anything. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to be of the world, in the world, but not of the world. And that's the way we have to operate. We got to know that we're in this world, but we are not of this world. So just like a whale that lives in an environment that's eventually going to kill him, we must come up by air at some point. Coming up to air is me going to God and telling him all about what I want to You want to be blessed? You really want to be blessed? Do whatever you do from your heart. The Bible says, if any man has this world's goods and see his brother in need, and close of his vows where lie the love of God in him. Yeah, we can pray if I can get money, but I want to know who we have. That's less fortunate than we are. That's what matters to God. If he know what we want, if we do what he said, we ain't got to open our mouth. We just say, here's what you want right there. Yeah. Seven of them right there. They right there. You're going to get seven of them with God every time. <laughs> We're going to get no stand. <laughs> like, you got to fool with the money people trying to be their system. That's the that design for the middle class in the first place. Yeah. So they got yeah. yeah. That's how you know what that means. Uh, give me the title, see my turn. So if you don't want your list, yeah. I'll take it. Give it to me. Because just like we just sang all oh, to Jesus, I surrender. All oh, to him, I freely give. Because it's hard as you. 
be something that we're not. Rather than, do you need anything? I was called to see, can I help you with anything? God don't need us. We need him. He can do without us. But we can't do without him. For the love. And, and let's get, let me, while we're here, and then we're going to go get communion. Later. You hear the scripture, for the love of money is the root of all evil. But that's not what the scripture says. If I didn't learn anything else from that scripture, Jeff, I learned that you got to be so careful how God worked things when you read it. It didn't say all evil. He said it didn't say the love of money is the root of all evil. He said the love of money, of money is a root of all evil. Because not just that affects whether we be blessed or the good we be in want. And we might as well tell the truth. Riches are fine. But 1 Timothy chapter 6 teaches us that those that desire to be rich pierce them. Thank you. 
Money can't buy. Money can't buy us the peace. Do you know what I say? The riches are deceitful. Riches are deceitful. They give you a false foundation of security. The way God knows. I hope I said something. I, I, I could not know if we get to it all, but that's all right. As long as we keep doing we remember that when we give him our all, we'll see some things happen that we've been waiting for a long time. And sometimes God leaves us in a situation like he did Paul. He said, I thank like God to move this thing three times here. And he said, no. My grace is sufficient. But what would happen if we love God so much that we would find somebody, something, someplace that we can show our love for God to people who don't know Him? You ain't got to ask for that. He said, I give you. That's what they thought. See, we play, we're going to play a lot of people on white people and, and the, the people over here, the people over there. But no, 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 no. When we get to the bottom of it, how much of our heart does God have? Because that's really what he has.
to get in our homes. If you know God and you have been disloyal and fell out, we all fall off sometimes. Come on back to him. He's waiting for you. What are you waiting for? You hold that up your lips. Thank you. 